my name is Joey, I'm with Leafy Gills. In this video, I'm gonna discuss with you the different methods for running a system. And by that, I mean the different methods that you might have, the dynamics of your water setup or the dynamics of your plumbing setup in an aquaponic system. One of the most popular ways or systems that there is is called a CHOP system, C-H-O-P. And that stands for Constant Height One Pump. It was made really popular in Australia. There's a man by the name of Murray Hallam who is a very well respected aquaponics expert who lives in Australia and works in Australia. And basically the way that this system works is you have a fish tank and your fish tank is generally up higher than your grow beds or the fish tank is just bigger and taller than the grow beds. And you have water that's pumping into your fish tank at all times. So your fish tank is constantly being filled up with water. Now naturally, if it's constantly being filled up with water, it's gonna to get to the point where the water's gonna overflow out of the fish tank because you may pump more water than the fish tank can hold. So with a chop system, you're gonna have plumbing set up in the system where you're gonna have a pipe in an L shape going into the system. Now the L shaped pipe is gonna be a tube. Going up that tube is gonna be your water and it's gonna go out of your fish tank. So naturally, the overflow of the fish tank is gonna be directed over towards the grow, grow beds, okay? So let me rephrase that one more time. Your, grow bed, your fish tank is always being filled up with water. The overflow that's gonna happen from it being filled up is gonna be directed to your grow beds. So naturally, through gravity, your grow beds will get filled with the fish tank water because your fish tank is up higher or taller than the grow beds are. So once the grow beds get filled up, they're gonna be siphoned most of the time or they're gonna go down a standpipe like we discussed before. They're gonna be siphoned with something like this, a bell siphon or they might have another, another form where it's constantly being flooded with a standpipe. But basically from there, the, the, bed from the, grow, the water from the grow beds is gonna go from the grow beds down to something called a sump tank, S-U-M-P, sump tank. A sump tank is basically where you're gonna keep your pump, where you're gonna keep um, all of the solids and it's, it's just a tank that is a filter, so to speak, before it gets to the fish tank. So. The grow bed empties the water into a sump tank. In that sump tank, you're gonna have your water pump, and the water pump is pumping the sump tank water over to your fish tank. And that's how the system constantly goes and recirculates. So one more time, fish tank is constantly getting filled with water. You have an overflow. That overflow is directed to the grow beds. The grow beds are flooded with that water and then siphon the water down into the sump tank. Now the sump tank is bringing that water back to your fish tank. So the advantage of this is that your fish tank water is basically always at the same height. In other types of systems, you might have a fluctuation in how high your water level goes on a, on a fish tank. And the other advantage is that the water pump is not in the pump with the fish. Some people prefer not to have their fish around the electronics or anything like that. These pumps are meant to be submerged in water, but everyone has a different preference. So it can, uh, depending on what type of fish you have, it could be advantageous not to have the pump in the water because you need to regulate temperatures and maybe the water pump is bringing the temperatures up too high or something to that nature. So that's the way a chop system works, a constant height one pump system where you're using one pump for your entire aquaponic system and you are utilizing gravity to fill up your grow beds, which is allowing you to use one pump. My name's Joey. I hope this helped you understand what the CHOP system is. Visit our website at leafygills.com and have a great growth.